What's up everyone? Kevin Oak here. I know I haven't made a video where I'm actually talking in a while, so wanted to give you guys an update. About eight weeks out or seven and a half weeks out from the platform. Gonna compete 242 pound class knee sleeves, not knee wraps, because I fucking hate knee wraps and I suck in them and don't really get much out of them. <laughs> so yeah, knee sleeves and 242. Right now, I'm sitting like right over 250. I'm waking up like 250, 252. I guess high is like 255, 257 during the day. It's kind of bulking for a couple of weeks, but I'm like smoothing out now because I'm at the weight I need to be. Um, yeah, but training's been going well. Been hitting some good rep PRs. I've hit rep PRs on all three lifts, which is very good in the beginning of a training cycle. It means you're on a good track, body's feeling healthy. Um, yeah. I mean, I've hit some good shit. Deadlifts the other day, I hit 675 for 8 on sumo. That's a rep PR. Felt good. Didn't feel great. Positioning was a little off. Technique could have been better. But I still hit it, and I was happy with it. Didn't feel much pain. Shoulder was a little irritated, but it was alright. So, you take it, you move on. Squats have been feeling good. Strength is coming back quick after I took that month off. Squats are feeling very good, actually. I can tell, like, some good numbers are coming. Like, I'm right at that beginning point where, like, I'm hitting the reps I need to hit where, like, I kind of know how that strength wave will go for me where in a couple weeks, like, it'll start really picking up. So I'm excited for that. Um, hit 725 by 5 yesterday, which is a new 5 rep max. I'm pretty sure I could have hit 6. My glute was irritating me a little bit, so I didn't want to push for that 6 rep and risk it. That and my nose was bleeding and I was like inhaling the blood and it was fucking annoying. <laughs> but um, I will probably attempt, because I hit um, I hit 705 for 5 last week, 725 for 5 this week. I will probably attempt like 735, 740-ish for 5 in like a week and a half or so. I'm not going to, I'm going to spread it out a little just to kind of let my body chill out and deload a little. We got 4th of July this week, so... I'm going to be resting up a bit this week, letting my body kind of recover again and deload slightly. Not like a real deload, but just let my body chill out a little bit. I'll probably bench later in the week and then not deadlift until next week. So I won't squat till later in the week next week, which will be good for me recovery-wise. Um, but things are feeling good. Bench is feeling good. I'm starting to arch now again. I was doing uh, more of a flat back, feet flat position for the last like year and a half. But, um, yeah, I'm starting to arch again. I'm not, I can't get much of an arch, but I can get, like, a nice little natural arch to a, to a point where at least my chest is in a better position. I have a better angle, and I'm bringing the bar down a little differently. So even though the range of motion looks about the same, my chest angle is very different than from when I have my back flat and my feet flat. So it feels a lot better. Um, I'm taking my shoulders out a little more, and I'm putting less stress on them. They're not having to rotate as much. Once I have them set in position, they kind of just stay there. It's more me using my chest and moving my arms as opposed to actually actively kind of rotating my shoulder. Whereas when my back is flatter, I still have to rotate my shoulder a bit while I'm benching. When it's arched and I just set myself in position, my shoulders for the most part just stay where they are. And I'm just kind of opening my chest and closing my chest. So it feels a lot better on my shoulders in this position, which is good. The reps feel a lot smoother. The only issue I've had in the past is like I tend to get back cramping issues, but I've been working on a lot of my lower back stretching and mid back. I forget the technical term for your mid back, but my mid back. <laughs> and um, I haven't had the I haven't had the cramping issues yet, so I'm gonna keep working on it. Um, I think if I'm able to keep bench like this, I think 550, 560 ish will definitely be there by competition day. Um, so yeah, it's feeling good. I hit 430 by eight which is a rep PR last week. Um, yeah, I'm just going to slowly ramp it up till comp. I'll probably be peaked in about six weeks. So like two weeks out from comp, I'll probably take, you know, like 5, 520-ish, 5, 530-ish for like a double or something like that. So between now where I'm at 430 for 8, and then where I try to hit for like 520, 530 for a double, I'm just going to slowly ramp it up each session. Um, with deadlifts, I'm going to stick with sumo most of it. I have to pull conventional again. Probably not my next deadlift session. The deadlift session after that one, I will probably do conventional again. 
with no straps just to make sure my grip is okay and that I'm pulling symmetrically um, and then based on how that goes I'll kind of know if I need one or two more conventional sessions before comp um, squats I'm, I'm trying to keep the weight like kind of under 750 as long as I can just to stay away from that risk of starting to get like the quad tendonitis issues because once the weight gets heavier in knee sleeves no matter what it starts bugging my knees there's really no way around it it's just I don't have big knees <laughs> I'm squatting a lot of weight like I mean I have like a world record in sleeves you know what I mean and there's really just no protection there so if I try to squat 800 every week with no knee protection like it's really not about mobility and what type of you know what type of work I'm doing after like no matter what doing that type of weight every week is gonna give me problems so I'm gonna try to keep the weight on the lower side so I really need to up it um but yeah it's feeling good I could tell squats are feeling good I'm gonna try to get some like good like five I already got three weeks of like some nice like five rep sets hopefully I can get another week of a, like a solid five repper and then maybe like a week or two of like four reppers before like the weight gets like more closer to that like 780, 790-ish range. But um, training is feeling good. My body's feeling good. I figured out the issue with my shoulder. Fucking retarded. Basically, I used to, until I figured this out, mostly sleep on my stomach and my shoulder. Or my side, right? My right side, which is why I have the issue. The problem that was occurring was my sleep, I tend to kind of put my arm under my chest or under my head, or like I sleep on it. So what was happening is, the whole time I'm sleeping in bed every night, for like 8 hours, 10 hours, I'm sleeping with my shoulder inter internally rotated, basically getting my shoulder pinned forward. When you think about that with any type of logic, once you realize that, you're like, wait a minute. That's why my shoulder's like pinned forward, and I have external rotation problems. So I realized that about a week and a half, two weeks ago. Since then, I've started sleeping on my back with my arm just like straight to the side. My shoulder's starting to feel a lot better. There's still an issue. It's recovering, but it feels a lot better since I realized that. So that's good. Such a fucking stupid mistake. It's like I was doing so much work trying to figure out what was wrong. And then, you know, doing so much mobility. And then I was going home and, you know, sleeping on my shoulder for like eight hours not very bright but at least i figured it out right just gotta move on from there <laughs> but it's feeling a lot better since then not 100 percent yet but it's feeling pretty good um that's about all we're gonna have some cool barbell commission stuff probably beginning of august restock on shorts t-shirts and deadlift socks will be in um, we ordered a lot more shorts than last time, so hopefully they don't sell out in the week. Sorry about that. Um, then of course, online coaching. Obviously, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching for powerlifting, power building, anything gym-related mostly. Actually, at this point, most of my clients I'm realizing aren't even, it's probably like half of people who are actually prepping for meets versus people doing like off-seasons or like power building style stuff, so... Whatever you need, hit me up. Um, GrowOakStrong at gmail.com. Other than that, see you next time. Get a little to your left if you can. Right there, right there.
Vamos.